Today, we're going to be breaking down the differences between the Connie Corso and the American Pitbull Terrier. Both of these powerful breeds have positive and negative reputations associated with them, either for their previous or current roles in society. So let's take a closer look at how these breeds differ, despite their somewhat similar appearances. Welcome back to the Fenrir Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about Connie Corsos. So if you love them as much as we do, start by subscribing and turn on that notification bell and you'll never miss a future Connie Corso video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a closer look at everything that makes these breeds so similar and yet so completely different. And we'll start by looking at the history of each of these breeds just a little bit so that we can really see how their early jobs still affect where they're similar and different in temperament today. Now, the Connie Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, originated in the uh, region we know today as Italy. The breed was originally a war dog, though, in the Roman Empire, and they were a jack of all trades. They would help herd the animals that the armies travelled with to feed the soldiers, and they were also used in the battles themselves in various different ways. After the Roman Empire fell, many of the soldiers brought Connie Corsos home with them, so the breed went from war dog to farm dog. The American Pitbull Terrier is the American cousin of the dog that was bred here for bull baiting and bull fighting, and have split off into many of the different bull and terrier breeds, like the American Pitbull Terrier, but also the American Staffordshire Terrier and the English Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And although those dogs were often confused for each other, in 1936 the American Kennel Club recognised these breeds had become so different that they deserved to be registered separately. And since then, those dogs have very much gone on their own paths, even though they do look so similar still today. So then, let's get into their different appearances between the Connie Corso and the American Pitbull Terrier. Both breeds are solid muscle and have a boxy build to go along with their square heads and jaws, and both can be droolers thanks to their jowls. The Pitbull, considered a medium-sized dog, usually appears as lean and light on its feet and sporting a thin, short coat that shows off their sleek body. The Connie Corso, however, is obviously a large, mastiff variety breed, and thanks to their loose skin and general size, don't appear to be as agile as the Pitbull. But make no mistake, Corsos have a higher energy level than most of the other Mastiff breeds and are still incredibly athletic. They have a huge stride and can execute the most complex of agility maneuvers flawlessly, which can be quite shocking for such a giant breed. Now, both breeds are very eager to please and both are generally considered fairly intelligent, though some consider the Connie Corso to be of slightly higher intellect. You'll notice that the both are fairly easy to train because of the higher energy level, as they are quicker to act on your command and are more willing to excel at high levels of obedience or formal training work. The Connie Corso is very eager to please as well, but they can be stubborn and willful, especially from birth up to about four years old, where they fully mature. Their temperaments, though, are both suited to family life and are quite similar. They both tend to be quite vocal and playful and love to be where their people are. They are full of energy and personality, which makes their clownish antics all the more entertaining given how loving and affectionate they both are. You'll also notice that both of these imposing breeds have a very soft personality that won't do well with harsh corrections or blurry boundaries. They are both extremely loyal and protective of their family, but highly trainable thanks to that willingness to please. Connie Corsos are extremely affectionate and are happiest when they can be very near or physically touching you, with the rest of their family as close by as well as possible. They are prone to separation anxiety because they do both bond so closely with the person who primarily feeds and trains them, and they don't always do well by themselves. In most cases, as long as you are seen as their calm, consistent leader, both breeds will look to you for guidance in any given situation. Pitbulls can also make incredible family dogs but they do have quite a lot more energy and they are known though to be extraordinarily gentle with babies and children. They are very loving and affectionate with their family and can even warm up quickly to strangers. Of course both breeds need lots of socialization early on and throughout their lives and it's especially crucial in breeds like these with those protective instincts. What really separates the pit bull outside 
of their family is their much higher prey drive and they are more prone to dog to dog aggression so you have to ensure that you are a calm consistent leader who can enforce rules boundaries and expectations and constantly be working on socialization and obedience training throughout their life this also does go for the connie corso but the pit bull is slightly more known to go the wrong way if you're not as thorough with your training hey guys sorry to interrupt the video i just wanted to quickly let you know if you didn't know already i have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior as a canine behaviorist i've put this together with my years of experience skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors so again if you want to check out that course it's completely free of charge the principles of canine behavior there'll be a link down in the description box below and i can't wait to see you over on that course so then to wrap up the connie corso and the pitbull are both incredible breeds that are quite adaptive to family life if you have an active lifestyle or want to get involved with canine sports then both of these athletic canines could make a great choice You'll want to see if the pit bull is allowed in the area that you live, as like here in the UK, they are illegal. I have been working with a lot of illegal pit bulls recently, and they have been an absolute joy to live with. However, the ones I've worked with tend to be removed from the police, and I've seen how badly it can go wrong. With either one of these breeds, you have to be willing to put in a lot of work and prepare yourself so that you can be an ambassador for what this breed should be. Like with all dog breeds, it can go wrong without proper leadership, guidance and direction from yourself as an owner. But with the negative stereotypes of both of these breeds, as dedicated lovers of them here at Fenrir, we want to make sure we help you not further promote the negative stereotypes and be a shining light for what both of these breeds can be. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you are new here, because I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Connie Corso Show.